Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slakey and Spencer Hughes on the Daybreak Show have via Zoom video conference. Jeannie Larson from Bloodworks Northwest. Oh, she's a glutton for punishment, apparently. She came on a, a while ago. <laughs> How you doing, Jeannie? I'm doing, I'm doing good. Thanks so much for having me, Jeff. Yeah, we had so much fun last time that I that I'm back. Thank good. you. Thank well, you for having me. Then that means a good thing too, as the uh, Hub Center for Seniors is hosting uh, uh, two pop-up um blood drives that are coming up on tomorrow and Saturday, Friday and Saturday at the Hub Center for Seniors. It's in Belfair. This is a pop-up. It's similar to ones that the one that we had last time that we're talking about, but there are some unique changes that we need to make people aware of. So what are those first, Jeannie? Well, right. I, I just want to give the address first. Uh, 111 Northeast Be Old Belfair. It's Old Belfair Highway. Um, it's by appointment only. We are following very strict CDC, um, FDA guidelines. So everyone has to wear a mask, social distancing, et cetera. But one thing I, I wanted to mention right off that, that's kind of important is there was a, a mistake recently um, that was published in one of the area newspapers. And it was saying that we were performing COVID antibody testing at this pop-up center on Friday and Saturday, and we are not doing COVID testing. And we apologize for the uh, misunderstanding and any inconvenience, but um, the reason we were doing it, the, the COVID antibody testing before, we were trying to identify people that had antibodies and then asking if they would come back in and donate what's known as convalescent plasma, which has been in the news a lot lately. It's used to treat COVID-19 patients. And we also add that to the national stockpile. So right now we've, we've collected over 3000 units of of the convalescent plasma, so our donor base is is good, and we so we're not doing any antibody testing. And if you if you made an appointment at, at uh, either for either Friday or Saturday, just to get the antibody testing, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but we're not doing that. But we're asking that you please keep your appointment to donate blood. Anyway, we really need you. Blood donations. Um, over the holidays in a, in a normal, if any of us can remember what normal mm -hmm. used to be, used to look like, but over the holidays, blood donations tend to decrease anyway. And right now, because of the pandemic, uh, we are seeing a decrease in the donation. So it's, it's critical for the health of our community that, that people keep their, their donations. And just to let you know, the blood stays local. We provide all the area hospitals with blood products. So the blood that you donate this week could be used next week uh, to help a, a neighbor, a friend, or even a family member. So again, we apologize for the misunderstanding about the antibody testing, but encourage you to keep your appointment. And if you have any questions about that, just give us a call at 1-800-398-7888. I think, Jeannie, right now, probably a good time after this last uh, new set of orders from the governor's office to explain the safety measures that you have in place for the folks to feel comfortable about coming to donate blood. There are openings still for Saturday's um, blood donations. And uh, yeah, I think now may be a good time just to explain how safe and how um, important th the safety precautions are. That's thank you for bringing that up, Jeff. That is real important because people are people are concerned. Um, the Washington Department of Health has declared blood donation to be a safe and essential activity. We follow all. We've been doing this even before the new restrictions. So uh, we do follow social distancing. We disinfect all the equipment. It's by appointment only. Everyone, staff and donors, have to wear masks. No one is allowed to come in uh, that doesn't have an appointment. So no visitors, no walk-ins, no one under the age of 16. So we're taking every precaution that we can possibly take to keep it safe for our staff and for our donors. So it is a safe and more importantly, a very essential activity. And the whole process is about an hour. There's maybe the 10 minutes of the actual blood donation, but the other is the paperwork and then the rest after to make sure every, you're okay and all that. 
Right. And screening, we do screening, make sure that you're healthy enough to donate. And also what's really exciting, anyone who donates between now and the end of November is automatically entered into a drawing to win a brand new apple. And we're not talking Red Delicious and Granny Smith, Jeff, but we're talking an apple product such as a, a an, an iPad, a watch, a TV, some really good oh, prizes, wow. a weekly prize. And so, so if you don't want to donate to save a life, Donate to maybe win an apple. <laughs> there you go. You can hit, hit, get get folks from both ways. Either the, yeah. the uh, selfless people or yes, the selfish people. <laughs> Come on down with your arms. We don't care. <laughs> That's funny. Bloodworks Northwest is online at Bloodworks nw.org. So on that site, you can find uh, donation pop-ups events all throughout the Northwest, and not just in Belfair, but they're all over the place. I looked at the list and there are a lot of them. So if you're not able to get in this weekend, another one will surely be right around the corner. As Jeannie mentioned, the uh, holiday season, traditionally a time of low donation, but it's very impactful that right now is the time uh, for folks to to do that if they have the ability. Jeannie Larson from Bloodworks Northwest talking about the pop-ups at the Hub Center for Seniors tomorrow and on Saturday, uh, 111 Northeast Old Belfair Highway. So the times tomorrow are 9 to 4. And then on Saturday, it's, it's a little earlier, get you started early, about eight o'clock with some openings still on that Saturday. Yes, yeah, um, there's actually a few openings still for, for Friday and, oh. and many so far for Saturday. Um, so it's, by, like I said, by appointment only. So give us a call or go online. And if I could just say just one, one more thing, Jeff, um, this is something that really touched us that we recently got a thank you from a donor. Well, not from a donor, but a recipient uh-huh. of blood transfusion. And actually uh, this patient received a kidney transplant and, and they wrote us a note to thank us because they couldn't believe that three strangers were saving their life. The, the person that donated the kidney and then the two people that donated the two blood transfusions that they received. And, and they ended it with, Thanks to you, I will live to see my 30s. Wow. Oh, Powerful. that's why we do what we do. That's why, that's why we do what we do. Jeannie so. Larson from Bloodworks Northwest. <laughs> Thank you so much for leaving us with that Thank powerful you, message. And now is the time uh, to donate blood. We'll put the links to the show notes uh, when we post this interview as well. Uh, thanks, Jeannie. Be well, be safe, and, and we'll catch up you down too. the road. Happy holidays, everybody. Take care.